to get started we need to download two pieces of software one is the VirtualBox machine software and also we will need server software which will be using Ubuntu 16.04 in this server edition so first off we need to go to virtualbox.org virtualbox and there you'll see download virtualbox button and we can press on that uh, what you want to do is to download the one for uh, your operating system. If you're on Windows you, then you download the Windows host. If you're on OS X like I am then you'll download OS X hosts but if you're on a Linux dis distribution then you'll download the Linux ones and so forth. So just press on the one that you need and let that download. While that was doing as it takes a while uh, we can go to ubuntu.com and there we can uh, if you see at the top you get cloud server we want the server so we go straight to the server and we can download the server uh, you download the most recent one and we want a 16-bit um, one so you press on download and it should start automatically there it goes and these will take uh, a few that will take a few minutes to download but as that's downloading uh, we will set up VirtualBox so go to your download folder and you will follow the installer um, instructions um, as on, on OS X then this is what we'll be doing but if you're on Windows, please follow the, the normal way of installing uh, VirtualBox. So we, on this one, we double click on the icon and that will set up the installer. So we just run through all the um, instructions so we continue uh, keep it on the default as this will be good we have to put in a password and we just wait until that's finished and it doesn't take too long depending on your uh, computer configuration that's finished and that is still downloading Ubuntu so we just have to wait until that's finished but in the meantime we can set up VirtualBox uh, so go to your applications folder and find your VirtualBox here so icon double click that and you will be presented with this screen the Oracle VirtualBox VM VirtualBox Manager. So what we want to do really is we want to set up a new instance. So we press on new and here we'll call it Ubuntu Server. So as we typed Ubuntu it automatically um, selected the Linux environment and Ubuntu 16 bit. So press on continue and depending on how much RAM you have um, on your system, I have 16 uh, gigabytes so this will be no problem just allocating one gigabyte. Um, if you've got about a gigabyte you should really reduce this down to about half that uh, but if you've got more you can increase the amount of um, resources we allocate to this computer so uh, press on continue and we want to create a virtual hard disk now and we'll keep it at 8 gigabytes as well because uh, we don't really need too much too, too much space as we are really just setting up a, um, a test server we're not going to be running, not going to be having too many things on there 
So press on create and we keep it on VDI, virtual box disk image. So you just say continue. And I would recommend keeping it uh, dynamically allocated the, um, the the hard disk size. Uh, if we keep it, if we do a fixed size, that means it will take up eight gigabytes of our hard drive, um, and also it will give us a slightly improved performance, but not greatly. But keeping it dynamically allocated means that we re we can it will just keep the, to the size that it is. Um, but it will expand to the maximum of eight. So press continue, and we are presented with this. So we leave it there um, as a Ubuntu server, eight gigabytes. Um, if you want to allocate more, just slide the slider up. Um, if you want to allocate less, slide it down. But I would not recommend changing that from um, going any less than eight gigabytes. So press create. And we're here we are. Um, now we have to allocate a few more resources up. So press on system. And if you've got um, more than one core, you can actually you can allocate more than one core to go. So you can go up to four cores. As I've got eight CPUs, I can. Um, allocate right up to eight, but it would be running a bit slow. The next one is display. Um, we've got it at 16 megabytes. We don't need to allocate video memory any more than that because we're only using the console, and once we've finished using the console, we will be um, uh, shushing in SSH. Um, so we really don't need that, but we need the console to um, the video memory for the console so that we can install the system. So this storage uh, next is we want the controller IDE and it's empty. So you just click on the disk icon and you choose your virtual optical disk file and mine is in here and there's the 1640 server um, it probably might find it in downloads where I've downloaded it here so it can go from there but I have put it on to my media hard drive and this is where I keep all my uh, files so select your the uh, ISO image and press open. So when it loads, um, the it will then boot straight into this uh, live disk. So the next one is configure our network. The at the moment the network is um, done to a NAT, and we don't really want that. We want a bridged adapter, which will then talk to our router and it will make this virtual machine like it was a different computer on your home network. So uh, we will choose whatever um, option here is like the ethernet port if it's connected or the Wi-Fi port if you have just got the Wi-Fi connected or you could if you've got your Wi-Fi connected and you want to allocate that this only uses the Ethernet make sure that your Ethernet is actually plugged in and then you can choose the Ethernet port okay and that's it for the configuration and you press OK and now all that's left for us to do is to start the instance and we press start and that starts up the instance and we can configure the server from here. That's it for this tutorial and in the next one we will be dealing with installing the Ubuntu server and that will be coming very soon. Uh, thanks for watching and please if you like this video please like and subscribe.